Uh, we would like to congratulate Abundant Life on an unbelievable season, uh, two 28 and two teams. I thought they played an outstanding game, shot it really well in the first half, uh, jumped on us 13 to four. Um, so congratulations to them. Um, wish them nothing but the best. Um, I'm very happy for our players, uh, in particular the seniors who, uh, you know, lost the sectional final two years ago. Uh, last year ran into Newman, um, lost a tough one, uh, and then this year. Uh, to be back here and to, to get a gold ball, uh, dream come true, um, unbelievable, just a, just a dream come true. Thank you, Coach. Open it up for the questions. Congrats, guys. Um, you guys like to run, you like to shoot threes, but can you imagine two days of basketball like that where you guys are just on fire from start to finish both games? No, I mean, somebody mentioned that we might have been like 36 out of 39 from the line the last two days. Um, 21 out of 22 today, uh, which which is incredible. Um, I think we made 27 threes in two games. Uh, really, part of that though is just being willing to be unselfish and sharing the basketball, and then a lot of time put in by these guys. You know, there's a lot of work that, that went into that by by our entire team um, and the balance and unselfishness and and willing to you know take a back seat when your teammate gets going has uh, been been the difference for our team. Coach, congratulations on the state championship. Uh, you know, you made Marshall proud, no doubt about that. Um, you made a personnel change uh, early in that game and then rode with a different five throughout. What did you see that prompted that change, and what did you, what did you see the rest of the way from, from that new five? You know, they started throwing in three-pointers from all over. Uh, Mac is, is probably, you know, him and Jacoby are our best uh, defenders when it comes to the perimeter. So um, I felt like we needed to get Mac on, on two or three. Um, so we could stay on shooters. You know, two and three uh, on film are so good at getting to the paint. Their, their three-point percentages weren't as high. Uh, then 14 and 21 could really shoot it. Um, once they made three or four, we went with Mac. Um, went small, put Cy on 32, and um, really tried to get out on shooters. And I thought we did a, a good job for the most part. But again, they were they were thrown in threes left and right in that first half, and, and we were just trying to, to stay in the game. First off, congratulations to all you guys. Um, Coach, what does this mean to you? I don't know, what does this mean to you personally? Because there was a here in 2019, got a silver ball, and then this season, we've the ups and downs uh, of the emotions of this season. I know you've talked about in the past, Emmett as a ball boy or with you with, with that 2019 team. And you know the, 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 the emotions of this season and kind of how, how things kind of uh, came about, uh, both your, you know, to your sons on this team. What does this mean to you personally as a coach? Uh, it's not something I ever dreamed would happen. Um, you know, I love I love the school I work at. I love high school basketball. Um, I played for some coaches in high school, a guy named Annie Benastic and a guy named Kevin Orr. Um, that made it so much fun that they just love being in the gym. And um, I, I, I really wanted to do that for, for the next generation. And um, we are a state tournament family. I've said that many times this week where we, uh, we're here every year just because we love high school basketball. And for the year that we, we finally break through, to have a senior and a sophomore, um, and, and with what our family's been through with the car accident, um, I told the boys after the game I can't explain it. And we're down seven in the sectional semis with seven minutes left. Uh, it's a tie game, sectional final. We got down yesterday. We got down today, thirteen to four. Um, I really believe there's something bigger going on. Evan, at half, you guys are trailing one point, and you catch fire 14 straight. Walk me through the emotion in the locker room, knowing you had to take over and win this thing, to the moment the hug happens and you raise that gold ball. Uh, in the locker room, we were really just talking about our defense. They were, throwing, they were making a lot of threes. Uh, so we, we just kind of changed up our defensive game plan and just talked about what was working for us down there and then what we had to do going forward to try to get that victory. I, we weren't really thinking about offense. We have a team that if – if you move and you space, anybody can get hot at any time. Charlie can get hot, Blake can get hot, Cy can get hot, anybody. And it just happened to be me that was open. I mean, you talked about this a lot, but you know, going through what you went through at the beginning of your season, talk about just what you had to overcome mentally and physically to get you to, to this title. Uh, yeah. I mean, November 30th, I was laying in a bed, uh, hospital bed in Nina. And uh, I didn't know if I was going to play with my friends again. I didn't know if I was ever going to shoot a basketball again. And uh, when, you, when you're a kid, you dream of that stuff. And uh, I, I just didn't know what was going to go on and what the next steps were going to be. But uh, my family and my, my teammates were huge for me. And uh, this is just a dream come true to be able to hold a gold ball with them.
Charlie, you guys are up 10, and then they cut it to five real quickly. Um, I think you hit a three with about a, two minutes to go. That if it doesn't go, you know, all of a sudden, you know, the momentum continues to be with abundant life. But you were pretty open. What was your thought process when you uh, decided to take that shot? I mean, I consider myself one of the best shooters in the state, and so when I saw I was open, I was kind of like, it's my time to knock it down, and and I I made it, so no regrets there. For for Emmett and Charlie, um, Emmett, after uh, after the, the game, you're holding the trophy, and you said you're never letting it go. I see that mission has been disrupted yeah. momentarily, uh, but for Emmett and Charlie, what are, what are the plans for the trophy for the rest of the weekend? Um, so next week is our spring break, so a lot of us are going down to Alabama. I hope we're taking the trophy. <laughs> I, I, I don't really want to put it down after this, so can we take the trophy? I don't know. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for Coach Ant, obviously this is a family affair for you guys. Um, what has it been like to be able to share this experience with each other? Just a lot of memories. Um, you know, we, we dreamt of it, and... Um, I've seen other coaches that got to experience it. And I remember Coach Rudinger, I think it was three years ago, with, with his son Preston, and I'm watching that press conference going, man, like, I know the odds are like 1%, but how cool would that be? Um, and then to have two of them, um, and his brother played well today. You know, Matt gets a little bit overlooked sometimes. He's, he's defensively very solid, and he can make open shots, and um, to have both of them out there. Um, but really, our, our whole team, um, you know, Charlie and Emmett have played together since, I think, third grade. That was when we started sending these guys to tournaments, and um, it's always been a ton of fun because Charlie can really shoot it, and Emmett can really get to the paint, and, and when they share the ball, it, it's awesome. And, and, you know, Cy and all these guys, like, to watch them since grade school um, play together in different tournaments and to have it end like this, it's just a dream come true. Uh, yeah, like, well, like he said, we're a state tournament family. We've always been down here to watch the state tournament and see other kids and other teams hold the gold ball after they win a state title. So that's kind of just been our goal and kind of what we wanted to do. And I know how, how hard he works with the program and what he puts into it. So it means the world for me to be able to be a part of the team that actually got him that gold ball. Uh, Emma and Charlie, um, Coach touched it at the beginning, but just to have so many seniors on this roster and to be the group that actually gets it done and bring home that gold ball, what does it mean to you to share this with that, that big group of senior class? I mean, I think it's pretty special since we've been together for so long and, and we've worked so hard for this and we're pretty much like brothers at this point that to get coaches first school ball, it's really, really special to us. Oh yeah, like he said, we've always been playing together. We spend a lot of time in the Columbus gym together and we always, we always look up at that board and we see uh, all the years up there on the board in our gym of what teams have got done what and what they've accomplished and we always wanted to say that we were the one that to get that gold ball and put that year out there. And I would add that to have nine seniors, uh, it takes special people because not all nine are going to play, not all nine are going to score. Um, and to stick it out in our program through your senior year, it takes a ton of effort. Um, so for the three or four that don't get minutes, uh, to come to practice every day and to sacrifice the way they do um, and to understand that my role is not going to be a visible one, uh, I think it says a ton about them as people. Um, and those guys are as bigger or bigger part of that uh, this than, than they ever know. Okay, that's all the time we have. Thank you for coming in. Congratulations on the football. Enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you.